What's up guys, it's been a while since I brought to you a DAX for Power BI video, so I figured we'd ease back into it with the max x function. What you're looking at right now is a preview of a YouTube report that I'm building and I'll eventually present to you guys and you'll all be able to play around with it. Um, but basically what it is, it's, it's all my YouTube data since I've been on YouTube. Uh, it basically is broken down between subscribers, views, watch time, and a couple other metrics. So as you can see, uh, my views are going up, which is great, but I'm at this point where I want to calculate the max so far, or I guess you could call it the all-time high. So I want to be able to see at a certain date if I've ever reached that number of views. So on this date, this would set a new record high, and a couple weeks later, a new record high. So I want to go ahead and build that measure with you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click and select New Measure, and I'm going to call this Max So Far. And I'm gonna start off by creating a variable because variables make it really easy to grab a single point of your data. I'm gonna call it current date. And it's gonna be max date table date. Then I'm going to return and we're gonna use this max x function. Basically how the max x function works is it iterates over a table and evaluates an expression to see which one of those is the max. So basically we wanna iterate over the date table and I have this measure, it's called health measure, health measure. Basically, it's just grabbing the sum of subscribers, views, watch time, whatever I have selected. It's basically all it's doing. So if I go ahead and end this right here, and I throw in my max so far measure once it loads, max so far, I'll throw this in here, we can see that it doesn't actually work. It actually just kind of goes alongside um, oh, sorry, it's column value. I need to put it on the line values. So it still doesn't work. You see that the uh, measure, or max so far, is actually just this black line, and it's totally um, basically parroting the column values. That's because this max so far is exactly our health measure. And the reason it's our health measure is because the filter context is actually restricting it only to that one day of data. We need to unrestrict that filter context to look back all the days prior to this current day. And we're gonna do that with just a couple more lines. So instead of just date table, we actually need to remove that filter on the date. So we're gonna use the all function, date table, date. Let's actually see what where that gets us. So if we go ahead and run that, our new measure is now this max value. So, so far, my best value has been 1,800 views, and we see that my max so far is 1,800 because it is looking at the entire date range, and the max is 1,800. That's getting us closer. Now, actually, we just need to restrict that date range again to everything below that previous date. So we do that by, I'm gonna use the filter function. So we're filtering that all date table date, and we are gonna filter and basically say, that the date table date is less than or equal to current date. And close off filter, add a comma, and that is our entire measure. And as you can see, it looks like it's working as expected. It is going up each time I set a new personal best, and it kind of gives you the stair step kind of feel. And I like this graph a lot because it allows you to see your continuous progress that you might not be able to see just by looking with your bare eye. Um, so just to recap what we've gone over here, we use this max x function and we have to iterate over a table. We are first removing all of the restrictions on this date axis here. And then we are putting on another restriction that we're only looking at the date range of basically that day and everything prior. So anything after the day in question, we are not looking at those values. We're only looking at prior. And then we are basically evaluating the max of this health measure. And again, that health measure is just the sum of whatever I have selected. So for subscribers, each day is going to be, oh, once I click on subscribers, each day is basically the number of subscribers I got for that day. So it's now looking at the max of everything prior to this day. So on this day, it's a new max and it continues chugging along and then you get to a new max. So that's a really cool way to be able to visualize your growth. I uh, implore you to try this out and give it a try yourself. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next Dax for Power BI video.